uh, the seats Uttar Pradesh PG Medical Counseling. What are the seats that come under the Uttar Pradesh PG Medical Counseling? 50% of government medical colleges seats uh, go into All India quota. The rest 50% are under Uttar Pradesh Medical uh, Government, uh, State Government Medical Counseling and 100% of seats in private medical colleges. All the private medical college seats come under uh, the state counseling. So, uh, Uttar Pradesh, uh, there is only one deemed university which is Santosh University which comes under the All India Counseling. Other than that, Santosh University seats for PG come under the All India Counseling. Other than that, every seat in the private institute comes under the state counseling only. All the seats. So, uh, you have to apply for the state counseling if you are looking at private institutes in Uttar Pradesh. Need PG percentile qualification, 50 percentile for gen category, 45 percentile for uh, gen or EWS is 50 percentile, URPWD or EWS PWD is 45 percentile, OBC SCST is 40 percentile. In case you are between 40 to 50 percentile and you belong to OBC category or SCST category, you did not apply as OBC NCL in all India, does not matter. The result, if you are from Uttar Pradesh and you have an OBC certificate, that is sufficient. You will be eligible for Uttar Pradesh state counselling irrespective of whether you are eligible for All India counselling or not. Ineligibility, note this very clearly. Candidates who are allotted in the stray vacancy round of Uttar Pradesh need PG 2023, last year, and did not join will be debarred. Uh, this is a clause that was there last year and they have started implementing it even for MDS, two candidates they were debarred from UP need PG 2024 because they did not join the stray vacancy round seats. It also mentions that candidates pursuing a PG course or failed a PG course are ineligible in the GO. So if in case you are pursuing a PG course, at the time of application we would suggest that uh, you take a call on at attending UG, uh, UP PG, PG counselling or not and if you are attending maybe it is always better to on paper resign your call on that whether you are participating or not. Then there is a controversial clause. A co in the need PG uh, GO, the need PG uh, counseling GO, it is mentioned that uh, a candidate who has already taken admission in the brochure on the basis of earlier need PG or MDS is not eligible for need PG 2024 counseling until he or she completes and passes the course where he or she is presently admitted. Basically, if you have taken admission in earlier need PG and you have not completed the course, you are not eligible for need PG 2023. This has an impact actually, if this is implemented, it has an impact on who? Candidates who joined the course last year, previous year and then paid a seat leaving penalty and left the course, correct? It has an impact on them. So, there was some confusion initially in MDS2 on whether this is actually applicable, not applicable, is it applicable, etc. So, they clarified because they already have the paid a penalty knowing that they will be eligible for the next year or that this was not told to them earlier when they joined the course last year or when they resigned. So, after this they gave a clarification. So, even if somebody shares this, clearly tell them that UP has provided a clarification saying this clause is not applicable for 2024 candidates who join. It is applicable for any candidates who, uh, who joined earlier. It is applicable only for candidates who join in 2024 and then resign, discontinue the course at a later point in time. Those who have already discontinued paid the, and paid the penalty of 5 lakhs, they will be eligible for need PG 2024 in Uttar Pradesh. So, you already joined in 2023, quit the course, discontinued the course, paid the 5 lakhs and stipend or penalty and then you are attending need PG 2024, you are eligible, they have clarified that. Same for earlier years. Eligibility for the Uttar Pradesh government quota seats. Sir. We look at for eligibility for Uttar Pradesh government quota seats. 50% uh, of government institute seats uh, are there in uh, Uttar Pradesh government quota. Uh, who is eligible? Candidates who have passed MBBS from Uttar Pradesh are eligible. It might be from a state government medical college, state private medical college or even state private universities of Uttar Pradesh. Candidates who passed MBBS from a state government private or any MBBS from Uttar Pradesh basically is eligible. But there are uh, two different criteria that you need to be aware of. So, a candidate who passed MBBS from Uttar Pradesh is eligible. There are a lot of queries on Santosh Medical University. Anybody who passed from Santosh, Santosh University is also eligible for UP state government quota government seats. So, Santosh University graduates, earlier there was a confusion on when they passed, before it became a university, etc. That is all gone now. Santosh University graduates are eligible for UP state government quota seats. But who is not eligible? 
being an UP MBBS, any candidate who has passed MBBS from IMS BHU, they have their own specific quota under, under All India. AMU, they have their own specific quota under All India. And AIMS Rayburnley or Garakpur, the first batch that is coming out, they are not eligible for UP government quota seats. There is always a query for us on UP foreign medical graduates. Are UP foreign medical graduates eligible? No. Unless you are an UP MBBS, you are not eligible. Even within that, some are excluded. But if you are not an UP MBBS, you are not eligible for the state government quota seats. Now we look at the private seats. Who is eligible for the private seats? Everybody is eligible fundamentally for the private seats. The UP private seats are completely open. Uh, any candidate who is MBBS from other states are not eligible for state quota seats, but they are eligible for private, private seats. UP domicile candidates who did MBBS from other states are not eligible for UP government quota seats, but are eligible for private seats. Anyways, uh, all candidates across India, irrespective of domicile, are eligible for private quota seats. For FMGs and foreign nationals, these, this is the only option in UP private quota seats.